when I started making these videos it was in response to the questions of where are you from but once I started posting other questions started coming along and asking me to make top videos on various topics some I rejected because I know nothing about them others as you'll notice I've said something on regarding topics of which I know something other people have just said well just talk on the matter of just talking I once made the joke that maybe I should read the phone directory I of course rejected that as being totally silly and a waste of time for those listening however I have dug up some poetry that I like this particular one called The Lion and Albert or Albert and the Lion depending on where you find it was written at the beginning of the 1930s I heard it approximately 40 years ago which means it's been on the go for 40 years it was presented by a performer called Stanley Holloway who presented it with a Lancashire accent and you'll find there's many many accents all over England and I can't do a Lancashire accent as such I'll try and drop out of this mid-Atlantic accent that I've been using a lot on the videos and hope that you understand it if you don't of course you can always go online and find the words also have to reach over because I have some of the words on the computer monitor anyway here we are with Stanley Holloway or my interpretation of Stanley Holloway's presentation of Albert and the Lion I'm not also a one who can memorize a great amount of lines I've got a piece of paper floating around and as I said some on the screen there's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun and Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom went there with young Albert their son a grand little lad was young Albert all dressed in his best quite a swell with a stick with an horse's head handle the finest that Woolworths could sell they didn't think much of the ocean the waves they were fiddling in small there were no wrecks and nobody drowned but nothing to laugh at at all so seeking for further amusement they paid and went into the zoo where there lions and tigers and camels and all the ale and sandwiches too there was one great big lion called Wallace his nose was all covered with scars he lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on the bars now Albert had heard about lions how they was ferocious and wild to see Wallace lying so peaceful well it didn't seem right to the child so straightway the brave little fella not showing a morsel of fear took his stick with the horse's head handle and pushed it in Wallace's ear you could see that the lion didn't like it for giving a kind of a roll he pulled Albert inside the cage and swallowed the little lad all well Pa who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next said Mother young lions at Albert and Mother said well I'm vexed then Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom quite rightly when all said and done complained to the animal 
gatekeeper that the lion had eaten their son. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your boy he's eaten? And Pa said, am I sure? Is his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, what's to do? Pa said, young lion's at Albert. And him in his Sunday clothes too. Then mother said, right young fella, I think it's a shame and a sin for him to go and eat Albert after we paid to come in. Then off they went to the police station in front of the magistrate's chap and told him what happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away. See, how much to settle the matter? And Pa said, how much do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward when she, when she saw where young Albert had gone. She said, no, someone's got to be summoned. So that was decided upon. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame. He said that he hoped the ram's bottoms would have further sons to their name. At that mother got proper blazing. And thank you kindly sir, said she. We'll waste all our lives raising children. The feed ruddy lions, not me.